Hello, VNTV. Thank you for joining us for the latest installment of the KT, KDT Optometry Show. I'm Dr. Kwa Trung, as, you're, as you know. And today we have a special show. Our return guest, a good friend of mine, Jennifer Lynch. She is a movie star, a martial artist, and also a, t a producer of Thank movies. You. And today uh, I want her to give a brief introduction again to rehash for our vi visitors, our viewers. Hi, VNTV. Uh, xin chào các bạn tại uh, VNTV San Diego. Uh, đây là Jennifer Lynch. And, um, this is uh, Noah Sajjant, uh, the lead actor of Kung Fu Ghost from New York. Noah Sinjao Kantban Thai, VNTV, San Diego. Hi, Kwa. I hope the next time I'm in San Diego, we get to chat in person. So, Jennifer, um, you were, when you were in my show before, we were talking about you know, your little short films. But today, I understand you're doing a full featured film. Yes. Correct? Called full, Kung Fu Ghosts. Full features in uh, San Diego, Kung Fu Ghosts. Yeah, could you tell us, our audience, a little bit about your new film? So, you know, um, we are Asian, how much we love ghosts, mm -hmm. right? Yes, definitely. I'm going to have a very, very handsome ghost, and it's <laughs> going to be a supernatural martial arts comedy. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, the last 40 years, there's no uh, movie that uh, combines the kind of genre. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited. I'm actually very excited that you can audition for the role of the cousin. Oh, by the way, she is asking me to maybe be, be, be her cousin for the yes. film. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I, we're going to talk this weekend and uh, we'll see. Okay, right? But th good. there is a certain energy that Jennifer and I have and we could work on some projects together. Definitely. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So you're going to be filming here in San Diego. And when, when's the oh, film? in San Diego. Yeah. When did you start filming? Uh, March 1st to March 18. Mm -hmm. So my lead actor, Noah Surgeon, is going to fly here from New York City. Mm -hmm. um, the action <laughs> supervisor is going to fly here from Canada. Mm -hmm. The DP, the director of yeah. photography, is going to fly here from Paris. Wow. Um, and then... Uh, Rosie, the main uh, bad act, like the main lead actor for the bad guy, mm -hmm. gonna fly here from another state. Yeah. But the rest gonna be on San Diego casting crew. That's that's amazing. I, I look forward. Yeah, it's gonna be. So uh, hopefully, I get the audition. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe I get the role, right? But uh, yeah, I, I know you martial artists. Martial arts is a big part of your life. Right, and so I, I understand. You know, you practice it. I see your clips on YouTube, on <laughs> FaceTime, Facebook, and Instagram. So I really commend that you take it as part of your lifestyle, and that it's, it's a part of, part of a healthy lifestyle. Thank right? you. And so, can you talk about a little bit how it, you implement that every day in your life, your martial arts? Um, because. I'm super lazy. I cannot go to the gym. So I <laughs> always have to join a martial arts school. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to martial arts school, master gonna discipline you, sufu gonna discipline mm -hmm. you. Uh, one, two, three hours go by, no problem. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough discipline to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy. So. <laughs> but you also, uh, part of you, you eat healthy, right? Nutrition is a big part of your life. Right. I think that comes from a being lazy too. I have the real, <laughs> so I just throw the meat and the vegetable in there and done. That's it. <laughs> uh, so you don't eat too much sweets, right? You you eat mainly a lot of like protein. Uh, protein and uh, vegetable. Vegetables. Do you do do you do rice? Uh, when I go to Vietnamese restaurant, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, but most of the time you you limit your carbs, right? Yes, a little bit, I yeah, am. mainly proteins, veggies, and that's part of you know her overall healthy lifestyle, along with your martial arts. That you yes. do yeah. so um yeah this, this kung fu ghost i'm pretty excited about it since Thank you. you know it's going to be high energy it's going to be this ghost because in, in vietnamese culture ghosts are a big part right i you know so it's one of those where you're, you're implementing some supernatural with some comedy with some action it was some martial arts and you know mm -hmm. and some you know great humor right i know so you know in our cultures we we fascinate about ghosts mm -hmm. and there are lots of uh Singapore and Hong Kong TV show about ghosts, mm -hmm. but those ghost TV show are like really scary, you mm -hmm. know. And there one show I watched when I was a kid, the love story is so interesting, mm -hmm. but it's so scary. Mm -hmm. And I watch it like this, <laughs> watch it like this, and I got sweat and I got scared, but mm -hmm. I keep watching it. So I'm fascinated about that. So and let me I, ask you a question. So I know you're fascinated by ghosts, but have you ever seen one? In person, I don't want to, <laughs> and I refer that right. Right, now. <laughs> right. So I'll share with you a quick story, real quick, to my audience. So I went to school in Berkeley for optometry school. I, I lived in this city called Pinole, and a, a family. I shared a room with a family, and so 
for some reason, the, the, the room that I was at, they gave me the master bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was the master bedroom. But here's the thing. At, at, when I would study, there would be, I, I felt something in the room, right? It was something. And so when I would sleep, they would feel, I would feel a presence that, that caresses me. Oh. So I was like, okay, well, you know, so, but, uh, you know, eventually I got used to it. But it was one of those where I wasn't sure what it was. And then, long and behold, to make the story, quick story short, I found out the, le the lady, the family that I live with, she is really afraid of that room because there was a lady that actually died in that room. Wow. Like uh, several years before I even knew about it. So there you go. Um, you know, some people believe in it. So actually, I really believe that it, it takes that individual person. Not every person can feel that presence, the ghost, right? Because it is, because it's an energy, because we're all made of energy. And when we die, that energy gets transferred somewhere. Some people get stuck around, you mm. know, the, their soul does. So that's, cool. but that's another topic. So back to the Kung Fu ghost. And so you are, you're going to be the main actress. And then can yes. you tell a little bit about your main actor? Give a quick background on him. So uh, Kung Fu ghost, I will have a very handsome ghost. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that in all of the books and all of all the movies, they betray the ghost to be something really scary. terrifying, yeah, terrifying scary, scary, and trying to kill us. Mm -hmm. What if they are not terrifying, scary? None of us have died. None of us have seen any. And I haven't seen any yet. So I'm going to introduce the ghost in a different light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be a very handsome ghost. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I've seen his picture. He looks very handsome. <laughs> yes, right? Very dreamy, glowing like a swan. <laughs> he lives in New York, right? He lives in New, New York. York. He's an actor in New York. So I, um, because how, how did you it? find him? How did you cast him? I, I know it's very difficult cool, at times. Like, a hundred pictures of like hot guy, hot actor, <laughs> like every day for hey, a week. It sounds like a hard job. I'm like, oh, no, six pack, 12 pack, 18 pack, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, nothing. I don't feel anything. I can't, mm. I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. So when I see his pictures. Yeah, something about him, right? I'm like, hmm, this mm -hmm. look like William. The William is the ghost. Mm -hmm. And I asked his agent and mm -hmm. he sent in audition tabs. Mm -hmm. Nice. I did not like his audition, but I liked him because mm -hmm. He himself how my character in him. Oh, okay. So, because at this day, I cannot afford like a yeah. war winning actor or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking for actor that already how my character in them. Sure. And he has just he has that. that. Right. He has just that. He know how to sing, act, then yeah. produce, write, direct. He read book. He mm. play piano. Mm -hmm. He do martial art. He do everything. He sounds like the perfect fit. <laughs> <laughs> and the hit. Uh, his inner core, his essence, mm. are very similar to my character. That's good. So that's good. Uh, I'm actually really happy with my that's casting choice. Oh, that's awesome. So now I'm looking for the cousin. I'm cousin, maybe, maybe, maybe cousin. So we'll I'm see. I'm still looking for the grandpa. The okay. grandpa oh. is a ghost, one of the lead actors too. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're still looking for that. So. Yeah, so. And so this film, um, is it going to be released here in the U.S., Asia? Can you talk a little bit about yes. that? Uh, for the U.S., I'm going to release it directly to independent movie theater mm -hmm. uh, in nice. a smaller city, in a smaller state, mm -hmm. uh, North Carolina, West Virginia, um, on the city in the mm -hmm. Midwest, directly from me to uh, the uh, uh, theater director sure. without salvation or whatever. Oh. And what and, about Asia? Uh, Asia, I'm going to try to get the deal with um, over there for nationwide release in Vietnam. Oh, and wow. We're, gonna, we're trying be, to get a that'd be awesome. tour there, too. Yeah, oh, fun. yeah. Oh, we're, wow. We'll be really Yeah, fun. that sounds great. That's my, uh, that's my goal. Mm -hmm. When I move here, <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a... I got a heartbreak at that time. I was young and stupid. Oh. I say that. Everyone I'm gonna gets a heartbreak. I'm going to go to like, uh, America. I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm going to be so big and famous, and yeah. you're going to be regret. <laughs> 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 so that's hey, whatever <laughs> drives you, right? Whatever <laughs> drives <laughs> us, whether it be revenge, whether it be <laughs> passion within you, right? The uh, thing who's is, to judge? It's your passion. I don't remember his name now. <laughs> That's okay. Well, uh, wh whoever he is, I'm sure he's looking back and wondering what happened to Jennifer Lynch, right? And look at you now, right? So. But I produced the film because these are the type of film that that fascinate me, that I love since I was like a teenager, mm -hmm. since I was a kid. I just want to be here and make the character come to life and tell the story. Mm -hmm. Back then, I was dumb and stupid. Now, I just want to bring my character to life. It's mm -hmm. different now. <laughs> yeah, because when, when you're sitting here across, I see your passion. I feel your passion. 
for what you're doing because you really love it, right? Thank you're not you. doing it just because you're trying to make money. You're doing it because you love what you're doing. Yes. And that mm -hmm. uh, I was talking about in my previous episode with Dennis was about passion. And you definitely have that. And you're, I know you're very persistent. Right? <laughs> Thank you don't you. give up. You, yeah, that's in you. That's who you are. Your moral fabric, we call it. Thank right? you. And you always have this positive energy, right? <laughs> and, which is really nice. And you, you have your purpose. You know what you want to accomplish. You're going to do it. You're fulfilling your dreams. And one movie at a time, right? But is, one so movie this is at your time. this is your first full feature film. Yeah, my first full feature film. Um, I started out about five years ago, make a ton of short film. Mm -hmm. So I think I have earned my ten thousand hour. So <laughs> <laughs> how many short films have you done now? Five. Five, yeah, five. Five. So and you've won some awards for your films. 12, 13, 14. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Internationally. Yeah. I've seen her stuff. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you kick butt, you. girl. You, 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 her, her action sequences are amazing. Like, you, you don't, if you like realistic action, this, yeah, she delivers like kick butt in your face, right? No holes barred action. So. Thank you. That was the uh, action scene was supervised by, uh, by my teachers, by mm -hmm. my master. So yeah, I got Very my well master executed. come in and I asked him, okay, how do you actually kill someone? <laughs> <laughs> no, in the movie, it looks like she you know, takes his heart out, right? Literally. <laughs> so, but Kung Fu Go is going to be different uh -huh. because so far they say that Jennifer Lynn's film is so violent mm -hmm. and so, um, so, so violent. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't trying to make a violent fight scene. I know, I know. But you make it realistic. Very but, but realistic. Just that, uh, yeah. that is how you kill someone. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luckily, <laughs> oh, by the way, disclaimer, no one died in her films, even though they look like they did, okay? But, <laughs> but Kung Fu God's going to be a PG-13, okay. heavy movie. Yeah. I just want the audience to have like, a long, hard day at work. Mm -hmm. They go home, they drink a cup of beers, mm -hmm. and they watch the film, they laugh up, they have fun, sure. and the next day they have good energy, sure. and they go out, they have a better day, mm -hmm. they change the world. If you could briefly go, who, what's your role in the film? Uh, okay, producer, uh, writer, mm -hmm. co-producer, co co-writer, director, and I am the Your uh, actress in there one too. of the lead uh, and the actresses. actors. Yes. Yep, wonderful. Wow. So, you know, by the way, also casting, casting agent, right? Yes, you have to add that agent. to your role because you're, you were casting, you're casting me possibly, or <laughs> you cast it, you found your lead actor, yes. right? You're still looking for, by the way, she's looking for a, an uncle, grand uncle or? No, grandpa. Grandpa. Okay. Grandpa, grandpa. So you're looking for an Asian older gentleman mm -hmm. to play your grandpa in the movie. So this is a little dibs, a little heads up for possibly someone. Let me know. I'll be happy to I, connect you with her. I do have one in mind, but we haven't read the scene together oh, yet. Okay. So hopefully when we read the scene together, uh, our energy is going to be good. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yep. Because um, I'm not a well-trained uh, actor. I, I only like to fight other actors that I already have my character in them and then we mm -hmm. just interact and then the camera there just capture our spirit yeah, and our yeah. interaction. Exactly. So yeah. the if, energy, right? The energy. If like a very well trained actor they can get into the the character. Mm -hmm. But if it's not a well trained actor and if they already have that character in them it's the same result, mm -hmm. and I like that. So I don't have casting agent. I go out and I look for the actor myself. No. That is how you produce small indie film. You don't <laughs> have money, so you do everything yourself. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> yeah. I get it. And she does it all. <laughs> she wears all the hats, right? So she 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 came here and possibly got her a cousin. Yeah, <laughs> right? cousin. So we do have a good energy. So hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll see. You know, um, that would be fun. yeah, that'd be that'd be really fun. I look, I would look forward to something like that. You know, to add it to my repertoire of experiences in life. Right, that's what life's about. So we're gonna end the show. I'm gonna have you share a couple pearls of wisdom that you want to impart to our audience. I think that um, everyone wanna take life very serious, mm -hmm. but you know that we have plan three, five, ten years, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody know our expiration day. We I can don't. get in the car now, yeah. drive home, and boom, dead. Yeah, just like that. Our next breath is never guaranteed, right? Mm, so uh, as we right now, even this taping, there's no guarantee of our next breath or our next heartbeat. I know. So, so I just want to make something to make people happy at mm -hmm. the end of the day. For the short film, I say that even just one audience like it, I'm happy. This one in my first feature film with all my saving, 
I just want like 10 people watch it and be happy. Mm. Just 10. That's that would be enough for me. <laughs> that's beautiful. But between yeah. the cast and the crew, I already have that guarantee 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's a great positive mindset she just so, instilled upon us right there, right? So but, it's cool. If I lose the money, but I make 10 people happy, that's yeah. cool. That's but great. I'm not gonna lose the money though. I'm gonna make sure I pay the cash and the yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing you, we're gonna you're gonna do great. You're gonna Thank do you great. Thank you so much. Hopefully you be my cousin. Yeah, I think uh, we <laughs> we're gonna talk, but it's looking good. It's looking good. So I want to thank you, Jennifer, for joining again for another show. Thank and you so uh, much. it was wonderful, you know, and so I look forward to this movie. Maybe I can be a part of it, so we'll see. Uh, and I want to thank VNTV for always supporting us. And uh, please let us know your feedback. Um, we're always trying to make our shows better with better content, better guests, better, better hosts for myself as well. So whatever feedback, whether negative, positive, we welcome it because it makes us better individuals. So thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much and, for having uh, me. Have a wonderful day, VNTV, and uh, you take care. Bye-bye.